With Harp Rhythm TV from Denver, Colorado, I am Dan Alias, and this is the Ice Image of the Month. We are again honored to be joined by the undisputed Ice King, Dr. Mansour Razminia of Ascension Hospital in Illinois. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me, Daniel. Uh, it's a pleasure and honor to be speaking so this, to you on this Heart Rhythm TV. Thank you. So this is um, part two of our episode of the Ice Image of the Month, where we focus on using ice to rule out atrial thrombus and setting of atrial arrhythmias. So for part one, we covered the data around this practice and imaging using the ice catheter from the RVOT, as well as from the main pulmonary artery. Those interested in those concepts should, should uh, tune into episode one. And now episode two will focus on imaging uh, for atrial thrombus from the coronary sinus. First question for you, Dr. Rasminia. We talked about RVOT imaging. We talked about main pulmonary artery imaging. And now we're going to coronary sinus imaging. Are you doing all of these views for all of your cases? Oh, not really. So imagine that you work uh, from your home and you are going to go to your hospital. It is always to know that you have three, four different ways going to your hospital. If one highway is blocked, you can use the other highway to go. So you want to go there, reach there. But yeah, I uh, I almost always look at it from the pulmonary artery. But sometimes, especially if the patient has a mechanical valve or something, sometimes, or very, very extremely rarely, whatever you do, you don't want to, you cannot go into the pulmonary artery. This is very rare, but it may happen. So you want to have another option. The other option would be certainly, uh, you know, going to the CS and being able to look at it, look at the very same image, because again, this time there is no tissue in front of you. It is just the left atrium is between your left atrial appendage and the eyes. So you can see and rule it out. And some, I know that some centers, they also use it exclusively for um, implantation of the appendage closure uh, devices as well. But again, you want to know different ways of doing this. So if one doesn't work, you always go to the other one. So you just want to have few tricks that, you know, try to use one or the other. But the main one would be from the pulmonary artery. Okay, so we'll jump into your image. And sure. talk us through uh, what we're seeing, catheter manipulation, as you do very well. Absolutely. Thank you. So here we are going to go uh, place the ice catheter uh, into the coronary sinus to be able to see the left atrial appendage. Here, if you notice here, this is a short axis of the coronary sinus. And I already have an ablation catheter and a coronary sinus catheter entering into the coronary sinus, okay? Now I wanna go ahead and place my eyes inside this coronary sinus. How do I do that? Remember those two dots? The dot on the right would be the tip of the eyes. The dot on the left is the proximal part of the eyes with the transducer. So you go ahead and perform the anterior tilt. I'm gonna perform anterior tilt and I'm coming close to the coronary sinus. Let's look at that. Coronary sinus is right there but my ice catheter is still parallel on the top. So I have to do a little bit more, a little bit more anterior tilt. I cannot still, if I advance it, I'm gonna push it through the aorta. So I wanna do it a little bit more anterior tilt. Now those two dots are inside the coronary sinus. So you can see that is, that is my ice catheter inside the coronary sinus. So you can go ahead and advance towards can the I make one valve. comment here, uh, Mansoor? <laughs> Uh, was this coronary sinus a normal size? You have two catheters and an ice in there. Yeah, this is a normal size. Um, I don't know if Amazing. I have one case that I don't think that we have it on here that the patient had persistent left-sided SVC and that patient had a very, uh, this, is a, this is usually the normal CS view that when you place it in, yes. Wonderful, all right, we'll keep going. So here you can appreciate that is the, I'm inside the coronary sinus and that is the Vucens valve that sometimes it may cause some issue placing that LV lead. Um, so, but that is our Vucens valve. So that is usually where you're gonna stop. And at this time, you're gonna this time rotate clockwise. You don't need to memorize. You know, we do clockwise, but if you do counter, you don't see it, do it clockwise. So you would learn it by doing it, okay? And then as soon as I go down perform clockwise rotation, I see the left atrial appendage like a V shape. And this is the only view 
that you would be able to see. You don't get this V-shape usually this way from the left atrium. When you look at this, those two dots, they are as if they are inside the left atrium, but they are not. They are in the coronary sinus, but the wall of the coronary sinus is so thin that you won't be able to see it. Let's see one more case. This is another case that um, I had shown you the thrombus from the pulmonary artery. I wanted to look at it intentionally to see how it looks like from the coronary sinus. So again, we perform anterior tilt. This anterior tilt takes me inside the coronary sinus. So release the anterior tilt, and we are gonna advance it a little bit further to the mid coronary sinus. And then we go ahead and perform a little bit clockwise rotation. And at this time, we can see that very big thrombus inside the left atrium. Unfortunately, this, this woman was in AFib for a long time and she was on therapeutic dose of warfarin. So I was, chances are that thrombus is not gonna go anywhere. She has always had therapeutic. So we were not even suspecting of really having anything inside that left atrial appendage. We proceeded, but we had to uh, cancel. And you can even see the calcification within this very big thrombus in the left atrium. And I sent her for surgical removal, but uh, because the patient had uh, uh, you know, other comorbidities, they decided just to continue with medical management. And I wanna to touch on a point you just made too, which is imaging from below. No, I think that if you think about your anatomy, right, you got the RVOT and you got the pulmonary artery coming up and over the appendage and you image down on it. But if you think of your coronary sinus catheter, it runs on, along the floor of the left atrium. And it's, it's, you know, the coronary sinus is very thin walled. So you don't see a huge, uh, you don't see the wall here. And then you're, exactly. up, you're looking up the left atrium to the, exactly. to the left atrial appendage. So very interesting and very cool views. I'll keep yeah, going here. And yeah, that is, as I mentioned, that's the calcification within the trauma. So you know that this has been sitting there for God knows ages. And interestingly, I just saw this patient. She's one of my very favorite patients. I really love her. And she's old, very old. But then I just saw her yesterday and she's doing fine. She she had come for a visit, but she's doing perfectly fine. No issues. This this was this image was probably about a year or two ago. And what did you end up doing for AFib? Oh, you know, we just uh, decided just to basically do a really, I wanted to give her the kick of the upper chamber. She was very symptomatic. Basically, she was not going very, you know, she was not going very uh, fast. I don't, I have to look at the, my notes, but uh, I believe that, oh yeah, I, I we did if ultimately I put a single chamber pacemaker and I did a AV junction ablation for her. Okay, wonderful. Well, um, you know, thank you very much for joining us in our one-year anniversary, Dr. Rosminia. Thank you. Thank um, you so much for having me. You know, in summary for the heart rhythm uh, viewership, you know, imaging using ice, right, to, to rule out atrial thrombus, I don't think this is commonly done. And um, it's something that can be done very effectively. And I think, you know, you can avoid an extra procedure for the patient. And there are even are data that show this may be superior. So thank you again for joining us. And to Heart Rhythm viewers, thank you for tuning in to the Ice Image of the Month.